Hi guys, it's me. I haven't uploaded in an extraordinarily long time, and I'm really sorry, but I'm back. Where I'm in my new apartment, which I promise I'm going to give you a tour of very soon, but I just wanted to give you guys an update um, and do a haul. I wanted to do a little review haul. I've been experimenting with a lot of new products lately. Um, as you can see, my hair is a little darker than it normally is. I actually just dyed it. It was really blonde, but I um, got rid of the blonde because I, it cost so much money to maintain, so I bought a box. It was a little scary and risky. It was Garnet Fructis because I've heard good things about their products, and the dye worked amazing. It, it came out great, even. like I love the color. It probably looks a little brown on the camera, but it's, it's definitely red. It's just like a dark red. And I just virtually used it to get rid of the blonde. But I, I really am happy with the results. I'm very happy. Um, I know dyeing hair from a box is really risky and scary. Uh, so I don't necessarily... I recommend it if you know what you're doing and if you're going one tone. I wouldn't recommend it if you were trying something drastic like going from dark to blonde. I would recommend going to a hairdresser. But... I was really just trying to get rid of my highlights and do an even base coat. So that's why I um, chose a box, because I didn't want to pay $100, you know, when this worked just fine and it's close enough to my natural color that when it grows out, it won't be a drastic, like, root change. So, um, I'm going to do a review for you guys, a haul review. I went to Ulta earlier in the week and I bought a bunch of really interesting products. None of them, actually, well, none of them that I bought at Ulta were brand name or expensive. They were all extremely cheap, and that's what I'm going to do. This is my um, bargain haul. Um, so, to start, I got new hair products. Like I said, I'm trying to be healthier with my hair, and so I'm trying to do, like, the kind of the curly, natural look, and my hair is, like... It's not thick, and it's not thin, and it's not curly, and it's not straight. It's just very in the middle, and it's hard to deal with when it's left to dry naturally. So I've been trying to, like, enhance my waves, because it, it does this, like, partially straight, partially curly. This is my hair naturally. Dried, it, you know, it, it kind of just does its own thing. This is my hair without the product in it. Um, but I want to show you the product and tell you how amazing I think it is. So what I do is, I shower, right, and then... I let my hair air dry for a little while, and then I will put it up in a really messy bun, just no product in it, nothing, just up in a messy bun, maybe for a couple hours, just to let it get some, you know, some curls, some texture, and then after a couple hours, I take it down, and I use this product. It is Herbal Essence Tossle Me Softly Mousse, and it's their lowest, like, volume. It's called Flexible. You guys can see that. It smells amazing. It smells so good. It's like, hold on. They say it smells like um, violet fragrance, which I guess it smells violet-y. It's definitely like a hair product violet, but it's really good. I just, you know, shake it up because it's mousse. You squirt it in your hand, you put it together, and you sprinch. You just like, you know, sprinch your hair, make it look really curly and crazy. And it kind of just holds it in place while keeping it flexible and letting it do its own thing. Then once I'm satisfied with my sprunching, I got Aussie Sprunch. I know, ironic. Um, and it's it's a called Catch the Wave Hairspray. You can see it right here. And this also smells amazing. This, I don't even know what it smells like. It's like fruity. It's like a fruity drink, almost. It's really good. And this is like a hairspray just to hold in the curls once they are in there, so they stay. And it just smells really good, and it's it's a very light, flexible hairspray. I don't like stiff hairsprays because they make your hair as hard as a rock, and I don't like that. You know, I want the natural look. Um, so, those are the two hair products I brought, and honestly, I love them both. I will admit, I was using BioPure. They're gel. They're like hold-in gel, and BioPure is obviously significantly better than Herbal Essence, but the price is drastic. At Ulta, I got these for two for five, whereas BioPure is $16 for a bottle. Um, it depends on what you want to pay for. You know, you pay what you get for. BioPure is definitely a better product, though, I will say that. But if you're just looking for something to try out, it's very cheap, really good. I totally recommend it. So I also got 
some cheap Maybelline makeup. And some people swear by Maybelline. Um, I, I love their eyeliner. I always get my eyeliner from Maybelline. And some things I'm very picky about, like my eyeshadows generally I get from MAC. Um, and my lip wear I usually get from MAC. I um, usually use a lipstick. I don't know the name of it. It's like a goldy pink lipstick. And I use, from MAC I use a lip stain. Which is actually this lip stain right here. I don't have, it's, um, I don't even know what kind of, like, I don't know if it has a name. London Wick? I don't, I don't think that's its name. I think that's what it's, I don't know. It's a lip stain, but it's like a dark red. But when it goes on, it likes, it, I just like the color it does. And then for a gloss over it, sometimes I'll just use, I love cherry chapstick, so sometimes I'll just put chapstick over it. But if I'm going out or something, I use Max lip gloss this is nymphette it's their most popular lip gloss so i'm sure you've heard of it or seen it so that's my expensive lip wear that i did not buy at ulta but that's what i normally use when i'm like getting dressed up or going out but i wanted to try out maybelline because they were also having a sale that was buy one get one 50 percent off so i thought i'd try their eyewear and their lipstick so i got um one of these palettes from maybelline if you guys can see it I don't know if there's a glare, but it's one of those palettes that, like, you know, they tell you the lid, the brow bone, the crease in the corner, and not that I need them to tell me how to do these things, but it was more just that I liked the color tones that they gave you in this palette, and I will admit, it is Maybelline, it's not, you know, it doesn't last as long as MAC, it doesn't, it obviously doesn't, you know, have as strong of a color, but I'm, I'm very satisfied with the product. It, it's good because you don't need to use all four, but they are all very complimentary. And I like them because they're complimentary to my, like, gold kind of skin tone and color scheme. I like it. Like I said, for the price you pay, it's worth it, I think. And then for a lip, I got this by Maybelline. See this color? I don't know. Um, it is called Blushing Brunette. And I'm actually wearing it. Here, I'll put it on for you. It's it's a solid. There's no glitter in it or anything. But it's pinky. It's like a pinky brown. So that's um, the stuff I got at Ulta. And I also just wanted to talk to you real quick about... I'm on a really big candle kick right now. I, um, I'm on a huge Yankee candle kick. And you know the holidays are coming with Halloween and Thanksgiving and then Christmas. So I've been getting a lot of candles. So I'm going to show you my two favorites right now. I have Yankee Candles Pumpkin Pie, which if you guys like pumpkin, you're going to love this candle. It smells so, so good. Like, it has the pumpkin spice kind of smell, but it almost has, like, that baked cookie smell. So if you could, like, mix pumpkin spice and, like, baked cookie and put them in one, a most amazing smell. And it's really potent when you smell it. Like, some people don't like really potent smells, but, like, you're kind of you'd be like oh my god but when you light it it's not like it's you smell it but it's not like oh my god I'm like choking on pumpkin it's really good I love it like I recommend this and it's on sale at Bath and Body Works right now or is it bed, I'm sorry not Bath and Body Works what am I talking about Bed Bath and Beyond it's on sale they're having a pumpkin scented thing sale right now so go check it out and there's one more candle that I'm also obsessed with I just got this one at Bed Bath this is not on sale but it's called um, Red Apple Wreath, and I love apple smells, like Macintosh apple. And I, a lot of their apple spice smells are too spicy for me. Like, they have too much cinnamon. They're just not what I wanted. And the Macintosh is very apple-y. It doesn't have anything else in it. And so I really didn't want, like, too much spice or too much apple, and that's why I love this one. This is their Christmas collection. And it definitely smells like apples, but it has a little bit of spice to it. So, it's, like, the perfect medium. I don't know, like, I personally like medium. Like, I don't want, like, super, super apple or super, super spicy. And this one's right in the middle. If you guys like apple or spicy, you might like Macintosh apple or, like, apples and cinnamon or something. But this one's amazing. Mm, it just smells so good. I've been, as you can tell, I've been lighting it. I just bought it yesterday, and it's already, like, that much gone. I'm obsessed with it. Uh, I've been lighting it all the time. My, like, whole apartment smells like apples. <laughs> um... So yeah, those are the things I bought recently, and I'm in love with every single one of those products. Um, so thanks for watching, guys, and please look forward to more videos. I am making a bunch. Thanks, and I'll see you guys soon.